Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. You know, in today's video, I'm gonna take a look at this Raspberry Pi. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And if you guys have a Raspberry Pi, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I ran across an operating system called Twister. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, you might wanna watch this video. It's made, the version I downloaded is for the Raspberry Pi 4. Runs really well, and it's got some uh, interesting features. So stick around. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Well, to get this started, using the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi OS, we're going to go to the Twister website and have a look to see where we can download the OS. Go to the TwisterOS.com website. Here at the website, uh, take a little time to uh, get familiar with Twister OS. Here it tells you a little bit more, Twister OS for the Raspberry Pi and other SPCs and Twister user interface for PC. Up here on the right, there's some more information available. What we're going to do is we are going to go to the downloads page. For this video, I already downloaded this one right here. No need to download it a second time. We're going to close out the web browser. Make the image of the Twister OS. Insert a micro SD card in a card reader for the Raspberry Pi. Close this box out. Then go ahead and open up the Raspberry Pi imager. Once the uh, Raspberry Pi imager is open, choose the OS. This file was downloaded, so go to Use Custom. Locate the Twister file to where you saved it. For me, it was downloads. Click open. Choose your storage. Be sure you choose the right storage. You don't want to overwrite the wrong storage. When you're ready, click right. Okay, you're at the point of no return. Read this carefully. All existing data on the mass storage class will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? If you don't want to continue, click no. If you want to continue, click yes. You'll need to enter your password. So the imaging will take a while, but with the magic of uh, video editing, I'm going to speed this up. So don't go anywhere. This won't take that long. I mean, you're not even going to have enough time to get a cup of coffee. Although this part is sped up, if you really want to know how long it took, just uh, look at the clock in the upper right. Ah, the write was successful. On to the next step. Close this out. And shut down the Raspberry Pi. Let's get ready to swap out micro SD cards. I mean, this part here, I'm just going to swap out the micro SD card. One uh, micro SD card has the Raspberry Pi OS, and this one I'm putting in as the Twister OS. It's that simple. This isn't the initial boot for the Twister we're looking at right now. I uh, booted earlier just to take care of some of the settings. Still, let's take a walk through the Welcome to Twister OS. Raspberry Pi configuration. There is a system tab, a display tab, interfaces tab, performance tab, and localization tab. Option to update your system. Okay, ready to go. We'll take a look at the themes later. We'll dabble on a few of them. So while we explore the Twister OS, keep in mind we're using a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 4 gigs of RAM. In the upper right, you're going to see some information about the performance. Catching my attention about this Twister OS is that you get plenty of apps preloaded, ready to go. Here's the terminal. 
And we'll have a look at a few more. Let's see what else we have here. We've got the file manager. Let's see what else we got here. Well, let's take a look at the web browser. Looks like Twister comes with Chromium. And just to try out the loading, let's go to a favorite page of mine, the Raspberry Pi page. The web browser seems to perform adequately. Okay, let's see what else we can look at. Look at all these accessories. You know, as I mentioned before, Twister OS seems to be preloaded with quite a few apps for you to review. Always have to check out the word processor. This is LibreOffice. There seems to be so much here to explore, to review. That's something that I like. I'm, I'm kind of liking this Twister OS. Here also you can use Lightpad to review the uh, applications. When you want to get out of the screen you just hit the escape key. Okay, okay, let's take a look at some of these themes. Here you can change your theme, want a different look? This will change your current theme. So let's click on next. Looking at this, glancing at this, if you're a Windows user or if you're a uh, Mac OS user, it looks like there's something for everybody here. To change the theme, you hit the uh, Enter key to restart. This is Twister 95. Let's see how this looks. Okay, if you get a few years on you, this is going to look familiar. As before, there are plenty of apps here to choose from to explore. Okay, we're going to try another theme. What should we pick? Let's see. Let's have a look at iTwister Sir. Need to hit that enter key to restart. I like that we get a little bounce here. And we're going to try one more. I'm going to leave a few for you if you uh, decide to go with Twister OS. That way you'll have something to explore on your own. We'll have a look at Twister 10. Again, hit that enter key to restart. Overall, it looks like Twister OS is a good match for the Raspberry Pi. I mean, it looks fluid. I don't see much lagging, and again, we're using a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, quad-core processor, and 4 gigs of RAM. Well, it's time to go back to the Twist OS. Hit that Enter key, restart, and we'll be there.
And now we're back to the uh, Twister OS. Uh, like I said, I didn't explore all of the uh, themes because I thought I'd leave a few for you to explore. That is, if you decide to go with the Twister OS. Uh, running the Twister OS on the Raspberry Pi again. Uh, Raspberry Pi with 4 gigs of RAM. You know, it seems adequate. As I draw this video to a close, if you found this a benefit or useful or you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And as always, thank you for watching.